also in my um, classroom for 512. Um, again, I was in a high school history classroom, 10th grade, and my next focus student um, is a male, and he is on the spectrum. Um, he had high functioning Asperger's. Um, he was very smart. He's a very smart student. However, history was not one of his favorite subjects. Um, a characteristic of Asperger's and not in all students, but they have areas of interest. And so for this student, one of his areas of interest was in math and science. So that would make it harder when he was in history because it just wasn't what he wanted to spend his time doing. Um, however, one thing that I did notice about him is he did love using computers. Um, more specifically, they had Chromebooks in their classroom, and so he loved whenever there was a chance to use those. Um, I think because computers are very much related to the math and science side of things, so um, I would definitely want to try to get computers used a little bit more. Um, there was an article by the American Historical Association um, about strengthening the teaching of history in secondary education schools. And uh, Kathleen Steve spoke about um, the importance of using computers and how we are becoming a society that uses computers. Um, and through research, they saw that um, using computers in the classroom did help spark the interest of um, their gifted, talented students and it also helped um, to intrigue the interest of students who might be on the spectrum or have special needs. Um, so it would help him in both ways where it might help him um, with maybe some of um, the needs he has with his Asperger's and then also he just loves computers. So what I would do in my history classroom is if an, an, op if an opportunity came up um, one, to learn more about the history of a scientist, such as we were learning about the Industrial Revolution. I would definitely give him an opportunity to research that more um, on the computer. And then another thing is try to integrate technology as much as possible. Let the students be the historians, research things for themselves, not just me giving them the information. Um, and hopefully it would motivate him to do the work because he gets to be on the computer and using something that he enjoys.